Hello, it's Christian and welcome back to Fusion 360 and today I'm playing around doing a tennis ball which is what might you call a slightly overlapping pattern, about two parts. Yeah, we all seen tennis balls. Uh, and of course these two faces have the same area you can see over here. So this is done using geometry of course, because I like geometry. So we're gonna start a new sketch. We're gonna sketch on this plane. So we have a top saying up here, we're gonna do a line, horizontal, thank you. We do an arc, it just do the three point arc, you can do every one when the finger is important, but you do a coincidence between the center point and the line. But when we're gonna make a, I use a midpoint because it's the fastest one for me, the line and the center point of a region point. Uh, we're gonna do a dimension. Let's do it 40 millimeters like that, and we should have a fully defined sketch. So far, we add a line. This is one of our axes we're going to use later for our geometry. And uh, once again, midpoint constraint between this one and uh, this midpoint here. We're going to give it a dimension, an angle dimension from here to here. Here's one you can play around with one bit uh, 90 plus uh, 18, 8 degrees, 18 degrees from a perpendicular. So with that, finish sketch. Wait for Fusion to think, and it drops things left over. We're gonna create a new sketch. We're gonna turn around, so we do a sketch from the front. We will project in this line and uh, that point. Gonna hide the first sketch. We do a line, and it creates two lines. I'm doing because I always miss moving mouse too fast. Slice and slow like that. We do a midpoint between line and origin point. We do a horizontal constraint from this point to uh, this point. And we kill that this line here is supposed to be equal to this line here. And by doing that, we once again have a fully defined sketch and do another first one and we are pleased. We're gonna do finish sketch. And by this, we have done our two axes we're gonna use. And I'm gonna construct a plane through two edges, select my two axes I created, hit OK, create a sketch on my new little nice plane here. So we'll project in our two axes. OK, I'm gonna turn off our first two sketches, make it a bit easier to see. We have two lines, now we need a line in between here. We can do this a bit of different ways, we can use symmetry and other things, but uh, I want to have a help and get this to the correct length, so I will use the arc again from here to here and tell Fusion that the center point of this arc is supposed to be the center point here and make a coincidence between uh, this line and now we hold down the shift key to find the midpoint, the small triangle pops on the arc. I missed it, sorry, once more, the midpoint and that point. By that we are fully defined. We could also use symmetry between these two axes and this line. I'm gonna turn this geometry into construction geometry like that. It's a bit easier to see. Finish sketch. Turn on all our sketches. We're gonna now start doing the hard work, the real work, making parties. We are gonna use weave all tools. We're gonna start with the surface tool. And we will evolve from the small line we create in the middle. The axis, we're going to choose, come on, one of the axis, this one, and it sweeps it the wrong direction now. I want it to sweep the other way. Normally, if it does a full world, with full turn, we only need 180 degrees, we're going to trim it later, but I want it to be revolved in this direction, downwards around the axis. I hit OK. We do it once more, once again, this here. Now we choose this axis, the other one. And now we once again, it's going the wrong way, so we need to have it the other way. So we're gonna hit uh, minus 180 degrees. For simplicity, I go with the surface. I'm gonna stitch these two together, so they become one body, just to keep down the body count. Uh, and now we shall do, we can do a trimming. We can keep all of this, it's more faster. We will do uh, one more revolve. Now we do a solid revolve of this half circle around this axis. And yeah, it's correct, 90 degrees. Normally you get a full world revolution. If you get that, you change the angle to 
90 degrees. Hit OK. And now do the easy one. You can do uh, some kind of uh, sketch with uh, some other profile. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do a simple pipe. We do the pipe command. And make sure change selection is not selected because we will pick everything then. And we take these two little edges we have here. And now we decide we can make a bigger one. Like that, want to do that, but I like to do it with a two millimeter like that. And now get a nice cut. We will not use our surface body anymore, so I do my mark it, select it, right click, and take remove. And now we use a mirror, and that's a new good thing about that, which can be confusing sometimes. Uh, select type bodies, this body, and mirror plane is going to be this one. And operation, I take join, it saves me mine one step on the timeline, but it can be confusing sometimes if you don't want to join things, you need to choose a new body. Join, in this case you want to join, and once again, we do mirror once again. We select this body, and we're on the side, and like that, and turn off our sketches. And by doing that, we have created our first of a self little tennis ball. Of course, you could use this path we created here to do things like sweeping, strange part patterns will do that, and you can also do more separation, so you can use this workflow for some other fun things. Hope this can be useful to you, so take care and see you around. Bye.